Good morning, y'all. So to quick preface this video for a second, uh, to say the last couple of weeks of fishing were bad would be an understatement. It was awful. I fished maybe four to five days, didn't get a single bite. So I had to come back to Old Faithful, the good old fishing hole in Ozello. <laughs> There's just a ton of fish here for some reason. They're just, they stack up in this spot. So I just pulled a trout off this spot. I'll play that clip in a second. But it's, I'm just hoping to catch anything really. I'm going for numbers today. Maybe I'll catch a keeper. I really don't know. But whatever I catch, I'm going to try to do a catch clean cook for you guys. Just because, you know, I think it'll make the channel more interesting. I want to get more authentic, more personal. So, yeah, that's all I got to say. Let's see what we can do. Oh, got something. You could hear it when it took it under. Dang, that was crazy. Whoa, this thing's fighting like crazy. What is this? Whew. All right. Big head shakes. Come on, what are you? Ooh. It looks like it might be a redfish. If it is, it, it might be a decent one. Oh, it's a trout. Whew. All right. Sweet. This has to be a keeper. This thing's fighting good. Man, you, I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera. It hammered that shrimp, hit it super hard. Dang, that is a big, big trout. Let's get her in the boat. You ready? Oh, man. That's a giant. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's 20 inches, but that sure is close. All right, let's measure them. From the chin all the way to the tail. That is easily a 17 inch trout. So slot is 15 to 19, so this guy is gonna be perfect. Sweet, I'll bleed him out, let's get another bait in the water. Ooh, I got one, got one. Oh, what is this? Ooh, is this a sheepy? <gasps> please be a sheep, please be a sheep. Oh, what, whoa, what is that? It's got some crazy head shakes on it. Oh, trout, yes. Oh, yeah. Sweet, look at that thing. On the bottom rig, too, that's weird. I would not have guessed I would have gotten a trout on the bottom rig. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna wet my hand because I don't know if he's a keeper. Let's measure him, let's find out. So they gotta be 15, which is coincidentally the length on my cooler. So, no, no, he's too small. Okay, well, nice little trout. I'll get him in the light. Nice trout, pretty, pretty fish. Let's get him in the water. Oh, he was ready to go. All right, later. I'm getting taps on the end of the line. Oh, 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 I got him. Whatever it is, I got him. Oh boy, crazy head shakes. This has to be another trout. He's coming in a little too quick. What are you? Oh, is it a lady? Oh, it is a trout, sweet, nice. That's third trout of the day. Unfortunately, they are getting smaller and smaller with every trout. This guy's maybe, I don't know. I'd call him 10. <sighs> All right, buddy. I don't want to touch you too much, but I need to get the hook out of you. So these trout, you got to be really careful with them because their slime coat is really sensitive. So you want to wet your hand before you touch them to make sure you don't take any of that slime off. He's croaking at me. That is a nice, pretty little trout. All right. Later, dude. Oh, he's still right there. He doesn't know where to go. Oh, there he goes. Dang, that's awesome. All right, well, I've been at this spot, I guess maybe an hour and a half now. Uh, three trout in an hour and a half is not great by any means, but I think I'll stick it out for another maybe half hour or so, and if I don't catch anything, I'll go and move and find a new spot.
Whoa, whoa. Am I recording? I am recording. I just caught a random trout. Whoa, he's going nuts. Dang. All right, yeah. Sweet. Ah, I knew there would be fish around here. There's this nice drop off with a bunch of holes. And I was just, I just missed a really, really nice sheep's head and I was feeling kind of bad. And I just threw this line out and this guy picked it on up. Let's get him in the boat. Uh, I, I doubt he's a keeper. He looks like maybe 13. I'll give him a measure just to check. But yeah, solid, solid fish. Now these trout typically don't put up a huge fight, but I think the reason they are such sought after sport fish is just because of how like acrobatic they are. They do a bunch of flips and they shake their head and just go berserk. And I think people, people really like that. So he is definitely not a keeper. Did I say 13? Ah, 13 and a half. I was close. I'm starting to get a, a good eye on these things. Well, today ended up being a good day after all. I'm about to head home, but we did all right. We got maybe three or four trout. We did, we had some fun with that live shrimp. I'm hoping to film a catch clean cook. So I'm about to head home and I'll see you guys at the filet table. All right, y'all, we're back in the kitchen today. We're doing a super simple fish sandwich recipe. So we got the trout that we caught earlier. As far as seasonings go, we're not going too crazy. We don't want to overpower the sandwich too much. So we got salt, pepper, garlic powder, and we're gonna pan sear it uh, on either side. So, super simple. Uh, we're doing a chimichurri sauce for the sandwich, which requires parsley, two lemons, about one and a half green chilies, four cloves of garlic, olive oil, and red wine vinegar. Uh, there's really no recipe we're going off of, we're just going by taste, so if it doesn't taste right, I'll add or subtract really anything it needs. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna top it with some pickled onions. We make these at home, it's super simple. We just need half water, half vinegar, a cup of salt, a cup of sugar, and boil it. And then you throw your onions in, leave it in the fridge, and it tastes great. So yeah, without further ado, let's get cooking.